Ho, 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 everybody. <laughs> We're back in the kitchen today. We are having a little cookie party today. Me and just another family are gonna get together, swap out some cookies. She is making salted caramel cookies and I'm making my favorite peanut butter blossoms. And I decided to do a hot cocoa bar. So I'm gonna show you today how to make hot chocolate in your crock pot. I do this every year. I absolutely love it. It is so simple. I have, I don't know how big this crock pot is, but it's pretty big. To your crock pot, you're gonna put, you need two cups of chocolate chips. It's literally this whole bag, 11 and a half ounces. This is just Good and Gather brand. I love Good and Gather. I love anything Target. So go ahead, turn your crock pot on low, pour the chocolate chips in. Then you're gonna need one and a half cups of heavy cream. You're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla. Bam. One can of sweetened condensed milk. And then you're gonna need six cups of milk. Then just grab a whisk and whisk it all together. What I do to get the chocolate melting a little bit quicker is I turn it on high for maybe like a half hour or so. And it's not, it's not gonna mix together perfectly because your chocolate chips are still whole and this is what you get. A bunch of chocolate chips stuck in a whisk. So, you really just wanna get that sweet and condensed milk mixed in so it's not a big old glob. And then like every 10 minutes or so, just wanna give it a little stir. And if you wanna just turn it on low, it should take about two hours to come to temperature. And then when those chocolate chips are melted, you're gonna to wanna to turn it to warm. And before you serve it, you're gonna wanna just give it a good stir. This is always a hit. I always do a hot cocoa bar. I got some regular marshmallows. I got some dehydrated marshmallows. I got some chocolate syrup. I got some caramel syrup. What else do I have? Uh, whipped cream, a couple different types of whipped cream, sprinkles. <laughs> so we got, we got all kinds of goodies to go on our hot chocolate bar. I usually get decorative cups and we'll just leave a ladle in there and kids absolutely love customizing their own cup of hot chocolate. <laughs> and I could have easily doubled this, but since it's just our two families, one batch is plenty. So that is it, crock pot, hot chocolate, super easy. I mean, I don't know why we don't make this stuff more because we're actually getting snow right now. <laughs> I'll take you outside. We're supposed to get somewhere between six to eight inches. Two days ago, we broke records for warmth. We were 60 Thursday. It's Saturday and we're getting six to eight inches of snow. This weather that we're having is insane. I know everyone else has been having crazy ass weather too, but let's go outside. Let me take my glasses off because if you wear glasses, you know when you get them wet, it is just not fun. Hang on, let's go outside. There is nothing like fresh snow. Everything is just so beautiful. It literally hides the ugly of the world. <laughs> All this brown and trees with no leaves. It's just, it's so beautiful. And we turned on our Christmas lights because if you get any significant snow and when they try to come on at dusk, they're not gonna wanna come on. We got Santa here greeting. We got our deer and then I just bought you guys are gonna crack up. So next year, on this side of our house, this ugly pine tree, it's really flipping big. And this willow tree that every time it storms, we lose a little bit. They're going, hopefully this winter, and that hill is gonna be cleared off. So the chicken coop is over on that side of the house. What we wanna do is, I told Chris, we're gonna make that side of the yard decorations, like the farmyard, the barnyard. <laughs> So today we went to Tractor Supply and they had a Santa blow up and he was out of his chicken coop holding the feed bucket and the, his chickens. It was, it is the cutest blow up. 
and I have not seen anyone around here have that blow up. <laughs> so I'm so excited. And they also had a cow. I think it might have been six foot tall. So it's, you know, going to be as tall as me holding a sign that said Merry Christmas. And then they had a little, just a three foot blow up pig. And I had to get that. <laughs> so we've started our barnyard blow up collection for next year. They do have a couple goat and chicken like statues, kind of like the deer that I'll hopefully be purchasing because I think that's going to be so cool, especially to have it over there with the chickens. I'm just watching a little tufted titmouse at the feeder. Let me turn it around. Yeah, the bird nerded me. I was going to show you birds through my door. There's a little downy woodpecker over here at the suet feeder as well. And you know, in the summertime, we're really not supposed to feed the birds because of bears and stuff. <laughs> they can really do damage to your feeders. But in the wintertime, we like to, you don't need to buy fancy bird seed. <laughs> Just buy the black oil sunflower seed. They all love it. Every single bird, the squirrels, the chipmunks, they all love the black oil sunflower seed. So... All right, thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to go back in and give the hot chocolate a stir. And I have to bake my cookies. <laughs> Talk about waiting to last minute. All right, thanks for checking out this video. We'll see you on the next one.